How's it going? Buster Missing One here. Let's get quacking, shall we, with this one on Rad Sims. Yes, it is I, once again, on Rad Sims, playing the flume. And back then, this was back then recorded back in January. So, yeah, I just wanted to do this one again, this, you know this gameplay commentary over again because I had a few problems was before with this sim it was a bit laggy and slow so yeah I apologize I apologize for the lagginess and slow quality so let's go anyways let's get cracking or quacking should I say oh boy do I remember this one Yes, I do. This is a right instant classic at Alton Towers. At the Alton Towers Resort back then, before Wickerman in 2018. This one is a right splasher. This is a right wet ride. A utterly a proper soaker. This is the log flume. This was the log flume I'm doing here. As you can see, as you can see, I'm just doing the flume. It is a right soaker. Yeah, right soaker, this one. I remember it very, very, very well. <laughs> very, very well. Um, and we all know what the flume was at Alton Towers. And we, yes, we do. Yes, we do. And I'm sure you do as well. Uh, one of the greatest and best log flumes. Legendary long running log flumes. It was. It lasted about 30, 40 years, something like that. 30, 40 year old attraction. Uh, uh, this is all before they got rid of the log flumes and that nowadays. Nowadays. So, yeah. It's a bit of brief history. So, the flume was formerly the log flume at Alton Towers in the 1980s to begin with, in the, to begin with in the beginning of the era of Alton Towers, for a couple of years until, until early 2000s, it was decided that the ride or attraction was to be rethemed. Okay, let's move on, shall we? With the log flume. The flume, shall I say. Okay, so it is a very good attraction back then in its heyday, like I said before. Like I said before. This recording was done in January this year when it was on its release on monthly release on Ride Sims 2. I mean, yeah, you can play it early. There is another way of playing it earlier, but you have to become a beta. Beta tested. It is beta tested, but you have to become a, like a patron to it. So, which has a small fee of costing. It costs a little small fee to it, so. A uh, small fee to it, about 10 quid for it to become a membership on Patreon and you get access and with that, with uh, that sort of members you become like, you know, memberships to the Rod Sims and all that. Soaking wet in this bed. I'm easily drenched in this bed. I've been on this ride loads of times. I've been on this one loads of times. A couple of times when I've come off drenched. Get drazzled. Get drazzled. 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 Drazzled kit. The flow. Good. I'm telling you, wet. As you can tell, it's a little bit laggy, 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 and you'll get a sink in the background there. 
Let's move on. Let us move on to the creepy pasta moment I was talking about earlier on. And, oh yes, the, the tunnel of the evil duck. <laughs> the lair of the evil duck awaits on this attraction on the flume. So yeah, if you probably know what like what I said before, if you know what creepy pasta is, it's Really good, really good to listen to. Sometimes a little bit scary. It can be, it can be funny. It can be just you know, fictionous. So just basically fantasy fiction, really, on the internet. It's on the internet, isn't it? Yeah, on the internet, <laughs> internet fiction stuff and podcasts. It's good to listen to. I mean, if you just want to get those chill vibes and get those hey, Freddy cat moments or scared cat moments yes. so yeah like I said before it's based it can be based on theme parks from Disney Universal and then the films from TV and movies and films that sort of thing they just make it all up really yeah, so. Really, it's, it's so, it's so, it's, anyway, so, I mean, I've listened to a few good ones on there, like the tragedy at Toontown and that mysterious, the daily one, the mysterious ones about the, the scary antagonist called the cartoon man in that one. Yeah, it's like, you know, they're going around to the being a bit scary. <laughs> a bit scary, that one. What can I say about that one? That one's a little bit scary. I mean, a little bit frightening and scary. It's a good way. I mean, there are good ways to get some ideas to write up your own creepypasta stuff. I mean... Mascots as well. I mean, the mascot ones I've listened to sometimes quite creepy and spooky and chilling and unnerving. Okay, we're coming up to the duck now. Yeah, that will leap out. There you go. Quack, 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 quack. There he goes. <laughs> Just leaps out of unexpected riders. Well, flume boats are empty, so as you can see here, the boats are empty, so there's like no one, no one on the ride. A couple of few people, but mostly the boats are always empty. So, anyways, yeah, it's a bit of a this is an unusual character. I mean, yeah, it's an unusual character in the attraction, and the, the flume. There he goes. So he comes out. And then he comes back in and he retreats. No, he quickly hides and retreats. It's fun, yeah, this, yeah, like I said before, it's a bit of a split second with the animatronic and animation because, yeah, it sort of spins out and I think, I don't know, it sort of spins out and that sort of thing. That sort of thing, I mean, really. Right, so. I mean, there's YouTube videos to look up, so Google it and YouTube it for the attraction at Alton Towers for the food. If you like my commentary, don't forget to 
give a thumbs up and if you like the video even also do the same give a thumbs up and you know subscribe to my channel alley cats my dear theme parkers out there and who loves a good theme parkers <laughs> or just uh, let me know if i'm a cool youtuber because uh, i do all sorts of good stuff and by the way uh, from playing ride sims to gaming to all oh, sorts really all the good stuff really things i like things I like them to be fun <laughs> all the fun things to be things i don't do balloons no i don't so anyways there's even travel i do travel vlogs and travel videos and vlogs and stuff like yeah theme parks Again, <laughs> theme parks, hey, theme parks, they do really good theme park stuff, traveling, and other travel stuff like you know, center parks, maybe. Quack, quack. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, and also good reviews and commentary. I mean, you've probably seen my commentary on Disney Dreamlight Valley lately, so check that out. Check that out. Whole oh, bar had impressions. Uh, oh, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do I have? 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 Oh, All right. It's okay. Okay. So, anyways, feel free. Feel free. So, like and subscribe and all that. Yeah, so uh, like and subscribe. Here, yeah, it's a uh, like and subscribe.